This is 60 Seconds of Science, brought to you by DuPont Pioneer. If your goal is to get a higher yield on soybeans, scientists and agronomists recommend you do a few things differently. First, plant soybeans earlier, ideally with a separate planter so corn planting doesn't distract you. Time the planting so the soybeans begin to flower before June 21st. So an early planted soybean will flower before that. I've had them flower as early as late May. When the days are really long, they'll really stretch out their reproductive growth. And so that R1 to R5 uh, could last, you know, like a full six, eight weeks. Ryan Van Ruckel is a DuPont Pioneer field agronomist in south central Iowa. Uh, light drives yield there, where, where the more sunlight you can intercept, and, and in this case, by lengthening the number of days you're intercepting sunlight, that's where you're getting more yield from the early planting. Second, plant in 15-inch rows. Use the same seeding rate, but space the plants more equidistant so more sunlight hits each plant and use this tactic against late sprouting weeds. If they're in full shade in a narrow swimming situation, that definitely helps stuff them out and, and reduce your late season weed pressures. Third, use a fungicide to control disease and be ready to put it down earlier ahead of an outbreak. And so if you do have a white mold scenario, to control that disease, you got to spray at R1, which is that first flower. And then to do a good job, you really got to do it twice. So R1 and then 14 days later, just schedule it by the calendar. I'm very familiar with DuPont's approach fungicide, and that is very, very good on white mold. Research has shown the yield bump from these actions. Early planting in narrow rows with timely fungicide and insecticide applications will net two to four more bushels per acre on a normal year. For more information, check with your DuPont Pioneer representative. You can also review other topical podcasts on this website.